Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I make videos on e-commerce primarily for beginner and intermediate Amazon sellers. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to generate single use coupon codes for your Amazon listing. So they're not these coupons here that anyone and everyone can use, but if you are interested in that, I'll link my video on it here. So these are unique coupon codes that can be handed out to people and they can only be used one time. So if someone were to share the code with their friend, it wouldn't work. So if you find this video helpful, please, please, please give the video a like as it really supports my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other Amazon videos and feel free to comment down below if you happen to have any questions. Okay, let's get into the tutorial on how to create single use coupon codes for your Amazon listing. So go up to the menu, go down to advertising and click promotions. Click manage product selection. Click the drop down box and click ASIN list. Then click create product selection. Now you're going to enter in a tracking ID here. This is for your eyes only, so you can call it whatever you want. So say the coupon is going to be for 50% off of my product. So I'm going to put 50 off product name. And obviously you would put your product name here. Next, I'm going to copy this and just paste it under internal description. Now the product or products that you want your coupon code to apply to, you're going to paste the products ASIN into this box here and you can add as many ASINs as you like, up to 4,000 of them. And when you're done that, click Submit. Okay, next you're going to go to Create a Promotion. Click Create under Money Off. Buyer Purchases. We're going to select at least this quantity of items, and we're gonna leave it at one. Click the drop-down box under Purchased Items and we're going to click the product group that we just created. And under buyer gets, you can select either amount off in dollars or a percent off. Now this is totally up to you, but I would recommend picking which number sounds greater to the customer. And by that, I mean, for example, if we have a $10 item, what sounds better, $1 off or 10% off? 10 is higher than one even though they mean the exact same thing, the 10% off just sounds like a better deal. So I'm going to select percent off and then I'm going to enter in 50 because I want my coupons to be 50% off. Applies to purchased items and you can add tiers if you want to. So you can make it if the customer purchases two of your products, then they get a deeper discount. All right, now we're going to schedule your coupons. So the start date we're going to put today. And for the end date, I'm going to put two weeks into the future. And your coupon codes won't be activated until at least four hours after the current time it is now. So this drop down box here automatically made it six hours into the future. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And for the internal description and tracking ID, I'm just going to use the exact same description that I used last time. Now under additional options, we're going to change claim code to a single use. And I'm going to leave this box checked, the one redemption per customer. And then for the claim codes, we'll get to that in a second. Now you can go ahead and click review. Make sure that you entered in everything correctly and then click Submit. Okay, so now to generate the coupon codes, we're going to go to Manage Your Promotions. Change the promotion status to Pending and click Search. Now the promotion that we just created should pop up and we're going to click View. Now at the top, click Manage Claim Codes. Now go ahead and enter in a group name. This is for your tracking purposes only, so you can call it whatever you want. And under quantity, enter in how many unique single coupon codes you would like to generate. I'm going to enter in 100 and then click create. Okay, your claim code group pops up at the bottom and we're going to click download. 
and this text file pops up with all your unique codes. And what I like to do is copy all of the codes, open up a new Google Sheet, and paste them into the Google Sheet so I can keep track of them. And then beside each code, you can enter in who you gave the code to and when, etc.